A story of a girl who looks like an angel and a boy who moves like a shadow. That sounds crazy. What are you looking forward to fans seeing in terms of the development of the characters in season two? Um, I'm just really excited for people to see um, Ty and Tenny develop their superpowers and, you know, ultimately just become closer as friends and become this superhero team that I think a lot of us have been waiting to see. You and me saving the world. Running away from bullets. What has, what has it been like on set? How is it different now that you're filming as more of like a, a duo? I get to see Olivia Holt every day. I mean, what's better than that? <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I mean, last season it was really fun to to sort of go on our own individual journey and then meet up every now and then. But this season we do a lot together. So we did have a lot of days where we were working together, which was really fun. But I mean, Tandy and Tyrone have taken not just, you know, their their unique friendship to a whole level, but also their their powers to a whole other level. And we, we will see a lot more of that evolve this next season. You, you've done the adaptation process before. So what is it about this show that uh, it has been a little a little different for you. What is, what is about Cloak and Dagger that's a different part of the process? I honestly think have, being a relatively accomplished nerd, they are the they are the two superheroes that are just equals and partners. And it's not a sidekick. One needs another. I think it's pretty unique. And I think um, the way they complement each other as superheroes is is portrayed so well by the way these two complement each other as actors. Man needs a blade for that. I'm lucky I have you. Me too. As heroes, they provide for our audience a kind of sense of hope uh, that if they can make it through, that we'll be okay. Uh, and particularly now, this is sort of complicated times for people in terms of where they want to be socially and economically and all the sort of real world stuff that's around us all the time, that to be able to watch a show that tackles a lot of that, but then also has great humor, great interaction. This cast is extraordinary. Uh, we have a, uh, a new, we like to say antagonist this season that's sort of complicating things for them. this guy's throat open with her hand. Yeah, well, I mean, it was definitely, it's like playing two different characters, essentially. So something that really was helpful was I had to learn Krav Maga before we went and shot. So that helped with the physicality because Mayhem has a lot of strength and she's obviously, you see in the trailer that there's a lot more action this season. So doing all the preparation for that was really helpful. And, you know, Mar Mayhem carries herself really differently. So her physicality is completely different. She's kind of in fight or flight mode all the time where Bridget's a lot more protective of herself. So there were a lot of physical attributes that helped me kind of transition between like, you know, Bridget to, to, to where Mayhem kind of goes. There's the pressure, but then there's also this kind of comforting thing around it because Marvel does such amazing projects. So, you know, when, when that name is attached to it, you're gonna have great content and that you're protected by that as well. <laughs> was there anything that surprised you about this process of adapting a comic book character and what was your process like personally? I guess the only thing that surprised me was how much creative control they allowed us to have as well. Um, and, you know, we, we started the first episode with a phenomenal director, Gina, um, and she just made sure that we were protective of our characters. You know, after we spent that amount of time working on Tyrone and Tandy, we, we, we have an idea of who they really are and, you know, what they would do or maybe what they wouldn't do. So um, it was just surprising to, uh, you know, that everyone is so down to just be a team and, and make sure that the, the best story is told. And it's more of a, you know, collaborative experience, which, which I've never actually experienced before. It was already super surreal and exhilarating entering the Marvel Universe and taking these characters who have been on pages for decades now and putting, you know, air into their lungs and sort of finding how they stand as not just, you know, a team, but also how they stand as individuals. And um, and we've gotten the chance to have a lot of creative control, what, which Aubrey said, and um, it's made this whole experience so much more fun and, and, and 
And I feel like we're just all very grateful to be a part of a show, and we're just really pumped for season two. And These guys are amazing what they do. I mean, Olivia, we were like, by the way, you have a month and a half to become an accomplished ballerina. And she figured it out, and it's like, you you know, you get to see Tandy Bowen dance ballet, and it kind of, it's, it's right from the book. It's really cool, and it's beautiful, and these guys, it's been such a fun dialogue, like Aubrey was saying. We cast these two kids knowing they were handsome and, and accomplished, but everything we've thrown at them, they've just pulled off so brilliantly that we keep throwing at crazier and crazier stuff at them, and it's just been amazing. What I'm capable of comes both ways. You need to be afraid for your life. But if you let those wounds become scars, you're gonna look at yourself one day and not recognize what you see.